I'm Mixie Pixel and you're watching OSL, your source for open source. Last week I gave you the rundown on Ubuntu Touch in our epic battle of OS OS. Thanks to your insistence, we have a new contestant, Sailfish, along with Tizen, and today I'm putting Firefox OS on the chopping block. Let's do this. <laughs> Brought to you by Untangle. It's been over a year since Firefox OS debuted at the Mobile World Congress show under the name boot to gecko Now it's back, more officially named as my favorite browser. Why should I care about Firefox OS? You know my show is all for open source, so it put a big smile on my face to know that the B2G project mission is about pursuing the goal of building a complete standalone operating system for the open web. If you know Firefox, you know that they have an awesome community and 40% of their code is written by volunteers. Well, I'm happy to report that the geeky good Samaritans are keeping up their coding trend with Firefox OS and it's entirely based on HTML5. The idea was to get away from the limitations that Apple and even Android have and allow for developers to freely design on the Firefox marketplace, creating endless possibilities in the mobile space. As a result of this, Mozilla has confirmed that thousands of HTML apps will be available upon launch, and they're not working with any specified e-commerce partners either, unlike Google Play and the iPhone App Store, where they have these set people that they work with, don't allow PayPal, this, that, and the other thing. So it sounds really encouraging. Let's see how it looks using Firefox OS. Unlike Ubuntu Touch, which prides itself on epic swipe capabilities, Firefox OS is chock full of good old familiar buttons. Actually, a lot of the UI seems strangely familiar, but I can't quite place it. As you install applications, more buttons appear in pages, and if you're like me, that can be a lot of pages. Firefox OS has all the standard features right out of the box. Setting switches, messaging app, Maps program, Android-like timestamp and battery status in the upper right, Android-like phone dialer. Wait a second, this is looking like a walk down memory lane. It's pretty plain to see that the Firefox OS is much like Android's uglier and less refined older cousin. So there has to be something that sets it apart. So I get to the lock screen, then eventually scroll through the apps to find a kitschy analog type radio. Again, eerily Android-like. Wait, I found something. Do not track how I love you. This feature, like the Firefox desktop browser, tells applications and websites and third parties that you don't want to be followed or have your interneting behavior traced. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So did I forget to tell you anything else? If you're wondering why Firefox OS is not nearly as gorgeous as the UIs you're used to, well, there's a reason for that. It's not made for high-powered phones, yet. That's expected to change, but it's just not Mozilla's priority. Nor is North America, apparently. They're focusing on rolling out handsets in Brazil, Venezuela, Spain, Colombia, and Europe. There's also growing concerns that with such a new language as HTML5, you'll have some serious security problems. With an open system comes people openly exploiting it. A Mozilla rep quickly replied saying users can expect all the security, privacy, customization, and user control Firefox has always delivered. But we're still left with this question. No, really, why on earth would I want Firefox OS? The bottom line is, if you're in the US, at least right now, you probably don't need Firefox OS. If you have a super duper cell phone that can leap tall buildings with a single bound and make dinner for you, you probably don't need Firefox OS. If you're super loaded, super rich, you don't need Firefox OS. See where I'm going with this? Now I'm not saying that this project isn't groundbreaking and incredible, because it is. Mozilla has the potential to escape the walled gardens of Apple and Android and kick off a revolution in open web. Now the phones that they're putting the operating systems on are under $100, so Firefox OS has amazing implications for those who can't have the latest and greatest simply because they can't afford it, which is sadly a lot of people across the globe. This is a cause we should definitely support, even if it's not for us. I mean, it's very telling that half of the code is written by volunteers, so now we get a chance. If you don't have one of the specified phones, fear not. With a few tweaks, you can get it running on your desktop computer, which I'll show you in future videos. In the meantime, you can find more information in the description bar below on how you can help make a more open web. Thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source.
I used to work at a large TV network, which shall not be named, and the only piece of software they used to protect themselves was pathetic, and they never updated it. They should have had Untangle. It's a complete multifunction firewall and internet management application suite. Their software is installed in 30,000 organizations and counting, and they can help your company too, no matter the size. Whether you're replacing an old UTM, gateway or firewall, or even if you want a virtualized solution, Untangle does it all with no pushy sales agents or hidden costs. It's quick and easy to try Untangle before you buy, and they also have a demo on their site for you to check out. If you just need minimum protection, run the light pack. Package. It's always free and open source, but if you want something a bit more beefy, we have the premium package. That offers a full feature solution where you can control bandwidth and applications with advanced web filtering and more. OS Alt viewers get a free 14-day trial of all the Untangle premium package apps, and will save 20% off the list price with the promo code OSALT. Just visit untangle.com slash OSALT. So I got a new one. Five routers walk into a bar, who gets the car keys? the designated router. I'm done now.